What appeared to be a minor car crash at Como Park in St. Paul has turned into a homicide investigation. Police say a car struck a light pole Wednesday morning on Midway Parkway, just north of Como Avenue. When officers questioned the driver, they say that she admitted earlier that morning she had killed her baby. The child was in the back seat of the car. WCCO's Angela Davis has the disturbing details. What I can tell you is it hit the light post. It didn't knock the post over entirely, um, but the airbags did deploy, and there was some front end, end damage to the vehicle. The sight of a car crashed into a light pole at Como Park caused people passing by to stop and try to help. When officers arrived, um, St. Paul fire medics were on scene, um, and the baby uh, was dead. Um, apparently, by, uh, passers-by had attempted to render aid and um, were unsuccessful. Police so say when officers questioned the woman shortly after the crash, she admitted to a horrible crime, saying, this morning I killed my own child. It's very sad. It's very sad. Anytime a child dies, it's sad. Police say the driver revealed that she mixed baby formula, sleeping pills, and a substance for killing bed bugs, and then fed it to her five-week-old son. The next morning, she discovered he was still alive. She told police she then covered his mouth and nose with her hands, suffocating him. Hours later, she said she deliberately crashed the car in an attempt to kill herself. Late this afternoon, the Ramsey County Attorney's Office identified the mother as 22-year-old Sui Tu of St. Paul and charged her with second-degree murder. The maximum sentence is 40 years, and she will make her first court appearance tomorrow afternoon. Amelia, very sad story. Yes, it is, Angela. Thank you.